As the country continues to battle ramped up load shedding, some believe that government missed an opportunity to address the crisis by adopting nuclear power in 2019. Government dropped its multi-billion dollar nuclear power deal following widespread criticism over high costs and environmental implications. However, last week, Energy Minister Gwede Mandashe confirmed that proposals will be issued to seek 2.5 gigawatts in new nuclear energy generation capacity. To help us understand whether nuclear power would have been a solution to the current energy crisis, we're joined by Sinamile Masango, a nuclear physicist and founder of the Sinamile Masango Foundation. Thank you very much, ma'am, for your time this morning. Back in 2018, when South Africa tried to get into that deal um, with the said country or with a specific country. Uh, it was said that it makes no sense for a country like South Africa with year-round sunshine to abandon its renewable energy options and focus on nuclear power instead. What is it about this word nuclear that gets people hot under the collar? Uh, good morning to you, Dudu, and good morning to your viewers, and thank you so much for the opportunity. As I was introduced, my name is Sanamile Masango. I'm a nuclear scientist and the founder of the Sanamile Masango Foundation. When it's come to nuclear, I think there's a lot of um, wrong perception that is out there. I think we must, as us as scientists, we need to play our role in educating people um, what is this nuclear? Because all the time when people hear the word nuclear, they will think about uh, bombs, all the bad things that one can think of. Uh, the nuclear is one of the uh, uh, safest, if I can put it like that, reliable. You can get um, electricity from it 24 hours. It's safe. It's, uh, it is a voice load. Why it's a base load? It's because out of all the energy sources, like the renewables, the geothermals, your gas, it has a higher capacity phase. So it was a miss uh, opportunity for South Africa. And uh, what worries me to do is that we keep on doing this, going back and forth, while the life of South African are at stake. As we know, that energy is the center of our economy. And a lot of businesses, they are not copying and, and and what hurt me the most to do, it's black businesses, small businesses that are affected the most, and they cannot afford this load shedding any longer. So nuclear is safe. It, it has been there. It's nothing new. And, yeah, it's safe. Let me put it like that. And mm -hmm. it's a opportunity for South Africa. I hope our leaders will start, you know, acting. And because we've been talking for quite some time now, and, and we find ourselves in this situation and we have no time. And to build a nuclear plant it takes you quite a long time. We would have been far by now if we didn't uh, uh, abandon our plans before, before the previous government. Sure. So um, previously it was the integrated resource plan and now it's the energy transition or the just energy uh, transition plan. You mentioned that nuclear is safe and reliable. Does South Africa have capacity um, to mine it, for lack of a better word? Is South Africa its leading, was a leader when it's come to nuclear. If your viewers recall, there was this thing uh, that our government that has invested in that was called a pebbled bed modular reactor. And we have invested uh, billions and billions in, 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 in researching about it. And unfortunately, it was abandoned. So there were, there are, we are capable and we have three institutions that deals with nuclear. It's the South African Energy Corporation, where I also serve as a board member that is known as NEXA. We have Itimbalek, we have Kubert. So there are capabilities. And what hurt me the most, again, that we have lost so many skills, you know, to the internationals. I've, I've traveled around the world. Wherever I travel, they would tell me that, um, in fact, it, there are South African who are part of this uh, the small modular reactors. So our skills are being utilized somewhere else, while us 
as a country who are in the dark, and that was upset me the most. And we were busy talking and doing nothing, and we will lose the key people, the scientists, like myself. If you guys uh, feel that um, there is no way you don't want to accept this, of course we will move. Where we will be, we are going to be utilized, and that is the loss. To get this nuclear skill is not a walk in the park. It takes years and years and years of study. It takes and years and years of developing yourself. So that is the risk that the country is we, is, we are under, that we are going to lose scientists, we are going to lose people who have knowledge in this nuclear sector, because these skills take time to have them. Ma'am, I can assure you we're not part of the guys that want to see a brain drain in South Africa in any industry. But um, to your point of safe and reliable when nuclear energy is concerned, um, what do we need to understand in context of gas, for instance, because we believe that the car power ship where now we know that the Department of Transport says they will dock at three uh, ports in the country uses gas to feed the grid. Uh, gas is also part of that integrated uh, resource plan that was approved by cabinet and relevant stakeholders were consulted. I also support it as a short-term uh, uh, intervention because it's almost 20 years. Within the, the 20 years, we must act on starting building you know, the, the nuclear power station or starting to having the small modular reactors within the 20 period of time. 20 years is a long time. We have to start now. No more talks. We have to act. So you believe the country's power crisis can be um, uh, addressed if there is will? So what are you seeing? Is it a lack of will? I think you've said on a number of occasions now that we need to stop talking about it and actually doing something about it. No, the moment we move step forward, the, the so-called lobbyists, they will come in the picture and uh, they will lobby for certain um, uh, energy resource of which does not make sense because all the energy resources, they have its own advantages, they have its own disadvantage. We can't say we have to use this one energy resources they have to be integrated integrated so uh, for me the low bits they are really 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 a uh, anti-development uh, people who have their own personal agendas so that is why the process it's been delayed we keep on talking you know moving uh, back and forth back and forth back and forth it's the life of the south africans that we are playing with so it's time us, for us as south africa to start acting now because you know the lives of our kids the life of our youth the life of businesses energy is the center of our mm. economy so we cannot survive this and we're keeping playing with the lives of south africans innocent south africans by the so-called lobbyist thank you so much ma'am for your time this morning Sena Mile masango is a nuclear physicist